home after a pair of losses to Power 5 schools. The Catamounts have arrived 7 over 45 last year, but I doubt he'll get a chance here with the wind. And it goes out of the back of scrimmage from its own 25-yard line. Two backs in the backfield. McKinney to throw, got a man in the crease. Big room, farted. All the way up to midfield, the top three. Natty. McKinney to pass on first down and caught in traffic at the hash for nine yards down to the 40. Johnson in motion, H back left. Up the middle, Sloan. Good surge by the left of the line. And from the 36 for McKinney. Good protection, got a man over the middle between the hashes for the first down to the 21. ACL injury. First and 10, curdles the double reverse to Smith with McKinney out to lay a block. Smith to the 10, to the 6. Six for EKU on the opening drive, they come blitz. McKinney throws it a slant, touch, down. Curdles, if they say got it, and they do. Easter score, and it is Hensley coming home to the common of Pikeville. One of the things that McKinney is so good at is putting the ball with his body. Curdles in the swinging gate to go for two, and they throw, and they get it for an 8-0 lead as they went to the corner on the right side. Three shifts left. Running back through the hole. Nice fake by the quarterback to hand it to Reed and Desmond wriggle of receivers to the right. Now they split out and the ball fumbled, flagged down. Let's wait and see what happens. Tackle was met for McKinney. Passing down here. Yes, over the middle, open receiver, the tight end between the hashes to move the chains is his scheduled backup. McKinney to throw on first down, great protection. Waiting, waiting, now running, faking, running. Over midfield, well, he's good at now the Curdles will have to earn it, and they will. Just beyond midfield to Smith again, and the receivers have been open. They're 39% of the year for McKinney. Blitz, he can take off and run. He will with Greengrass. He's to the 40. First down, 30. And down. Ticking in the first quarter. Plenty of time. McKinney going long. Receiver has to wait for it and dislodged at the goal line for a hole one. It is Curdle career. Set down, kick up, tumbling over and over, and it gets inside the left upright. As they work right to left. Hand off Reed, nice cut, got to the edge. He's dangerous out there. And a good fight off the block to at least in five, make it second and five. Here comes Reed near side. He'll get the first down. He needed the 45 or the 44. He freshman All-America last year, and he'll get another tote. And this time, the Curdles had a tackle of his jersey and missed it and a flag comes down snap the hands together get the snap throw receiver open beat a curdle it's gonna be a touchdown number 10 caught it at the three 45 yards and the secondary was in front of him replay got caught I think peeking inside thinking that the quarterback might come out there was a lot of running room will not chase the point high snap kick down and it is good for Richard McCollum. They need it from Shazman Scales, the defensive coordinator's defense. Eastern Kentucky throws it out left edge to Smith. Caught it behind. Chin down here, empty backfield. A Sloan leaves and a wheel route. And nobody marked him. And McKinney delivers it midfield. And it's a first down. Nobody saw him first period. McKinney to throw. Sets it to pocket all kinds of time. Finally takes off and slides away from the tackler at the lead for the first time. McKinney, good protection. They slide it underneath, and it was well played, well short of the first down. That was D yards rushing, and he gets the first down. That offensive line manhandles the curdle defense there. They needed one. Cast changed today. Reed tried to get him from the backside, didn't. So the interior of the defense will steal with it, but they're hanging in there. Out of the pistol, here's a hole to the left side for Carter. But this Catamount defense beginning to shut the... the curdle side of the field and they'll go back to Reed at running back. Patience now goes out and they run him to the boundary. 
in front of the Western Carolina. Hand off Reed, big hole. Look at the line, push the hole open. And down he goes inside the 30 for the first down. Carolina down 11-7, but driving to Reed, who got a big fourth down, cuts back and works his way down to the 22. In from the Colonel 17, Reed, and they got him for a loss here. Did he lose the ball? I well, he's back to throw again. McKinney comes near side, high pointing the catch. He made it into the hands after McKinney, who's 14 of 24 tonight, and throwing his 25th pass at an open receiver, Ben Narsing. Battles. Good protection, pressure edge. McKinney could take off and run. Pump fake throw at the last minute, down to get it for the first down at the 16 with left foot into it for a seven point lead. And the Curdles steal three. Side of the field, they go on the ground of their star runner at EKU, closes it down. Baker, the second there, but the first Curdle at the bottom of the pile at seven. Gonzalez comes near side, incomplete. EKU Smith closing the Appalachian State transfer. Nuded some. EKU pushing up the middle there. Playing small ball up the middle to the 29. Boy, that was a one here. Sloan to make it. No, McKinney keeps it around the right for the first down for three. And they'll move the chains. EKU now with 15 for Carolina. Second and 10 for McKinney. Another pass coming. Going long down the right sidelines. One-on-one -on -one battle. Ball battled for the Western Carolina for Gonzalez. Nice time in the pocket. Throws down the sidelines and incomplete. Trying to drag the pass abated a bit here as Gonzalez rolls right, throws to Reed, and he got the corner turned against a Curdle chasing him, but his speed better. And now before running out of room at a battle, also had 102 yards. They're on Gonzalez. They've got him for the sack, and he got out of there. They had him. Still running. Tremendous. And now they're in hurry up. Reed broke a tackle, cuts back. He's going 20. Reed looking for the tie, and they run him out of bounds at the 15 yard line. He Smith getting to him. the edge, knowing that he has two wide receivers to the outside. So I'm going to cut this to the sideline and let those 11. They're going to throw over the middle, pump fake, roll right, throw to the end zone, diving effort. It looks like a touchdown. Let's wait and see. Clearwater, Boy, Florida, back. and they're a yard away from tying this up with a touchdown on the PAT kick. Those two, and we are a McCollum PAT from 9-11. McCollum success. And it is a dogfight between the Catamounts and Curtis. EKU in a tie game, good field position. McKinney over the middle, down to get it. Did he trap it or get it? They're gonna say catch. Just inside, second down at eight for EKU, trying to drive and retake, driving McKinney, throwing into double coverage, and this is an easy interception at the six. Port the sidelines past the 35 for C. J. What? That may have been what happened because. Kenny throws it out of the backfield to Carter, trying to make a one-on-one -on -one man miss. Can't, but he does get around him, and then another tag tonight. Gonna go ground here for Carter, patience for the first down. He needed one, he got two to the 40. It's a slobber knock. Looking for 25, his number 18, out to the edge to Smith. He gets wrapped around and beyond a 360 tackle, pretty there. He prepped Carter on the ground. No, fake, instead McKinney rolls out right, faked me out, throws it to Smith, creeping up the sidelines. I want Reed and Mr. Automatic, and he bounces off a of Curdle into another EKU linebacker in Kelly. 10 for Gonzalez to throw. Pump fakes, little hitch, and caught. And it's the same player that got burned at Cincinnati. Really been able to pick on him, and they're in the red zone for the one, Reed. Reed leaps over and sails to the end zone for the touchdown. Took off from the three, the landing strip is the promised land. And for the, the lead, first time. 20 to 14. They've outscored EKU 20 to three since the touchdowns. Gonzalez to Lee. PAT good. Catamounts on a 21 to three run. McKinney slings one to Smith. He makes a man miss, but they hold on. He breaks another tackle. 
extra effort for the first down to the 20. Western Carolina has. Second and seven, McKinney near side to the boundary for the first down. A little extra move, staying in bounds. For McKinney, all kinds of time. Goes out right side, caught Smith, touchdown. Ties a career high in catches and work. On his ninth catch of the night, his first touchdown of the year and tenth of his career. There, as he's moving in motion, he thought he was supposed to go on the left side upfield. He has to end up changing in his career. Trying to keep it perfect, and he does. We're legal. Late night in Richmond, 21-9. Gonzalez to pass in the pocket, avoids a sack, throws long, incomplete. Good coverage there. A for Gonzalez, throws over the middle. Receiver, how did he get loose in the middle between all of them back there? He did for the catch. Came early, non-conference. White, or Reed, I should say. As White had gone to the sideline, out of there to block that time, and right the snap, he gets it from Stone. Comes to the near side, and a good stretch there by the tight end. From their own 24, ground hole, up the middle. Carter banging off, Catamount staying on his feet, tumbling over another hit on the play. Here's McKinney on second and seven, great protection, throwing long, got a chance, Mo Edwards juggles, catches. In Cullaway from the 19 for McKinney going right back to the air. Open receiver at one. It's Smith. Three. McKinney on a slant. There was contact. Hurdles looking for a flag, and nothing is coming. I can see this look here. He's draped on him. Oh, yeah. He's got him by the backside. Got to go for three in the lead with 4.22 to go. And now EKU back out on top, 24-21. Second and 10 for Gonzalez. Looking long and throwing long, and Reed got behind the Colonel. Henderson. Here's Gonzalez. Not a lot of pressure, Eastern. It's picked off! It's picked off! It's Logan Blake! The N.A. Brown, the tight end, goes right. EKU will keep it. And they gave it right back to Westers to the right. Down three. Lee's get in field goal position. Gonzalez throws it the last minute. Caught by Colombo. Missed a tackle. Baker got him and right. Second down and five for Gonzalez. Looking long instead of go underneath. And he goes to the tight end. Adams takes it up to 20. From the 28. Gonzalez, all kinds of time. Long throw and incomplete on the sidelines, or did he stay in? A touchdown, field goal would tie it for Gonzalez. A wide open receiver caught, it's Colombo. And the Colonel defense had to find an answer here. Back, they hit the quarterback, back in zone, diving touchdown, four for four. Gonzalez who came in after their star read, limped off the field. Gonzalez. 72 yards on four straight passes. 25 seconds left. So they didn't put an extra second back. McKinney, a lot of time in the pocket, throws long, caught. Ben Narzik again. Clock stopped. Ben Narzik with the cat amounts for McKinney. Three step drop, steps into pocket, can run. He will. 30, 25, 20, speeds to the sideline. Seven seconds to go. The 23, he's going to pass it. He's got to hurry. This is going to be a touchdown. Edwards couldn't get it with two seconds to go. He, he slid was a good three yards into the end zone. He was so wide open, he tried to make an adjustment back. At the end of the game, when his team was down three, they threw the touchdown. 70, Kentucky 24. All games airing on the ESPN Networks are streaming live at our